In this video, I'll be covering everything you need to know about the upcoming Season 13 ranked changes and how they will affect all of us. Now, there were a lot of changes, and sometimes these press releases don't do the best job at explaining the details. So I'll break it down so we can all understand this and get you all ready for Season 13. I'm going to cover six specific changes that are the most important ones, and I'll do it in a concise manner. To quote Apex, we are making a large number of changes that focus around these two core pillars with the outcome that players will focus on playing as a team and playing for the win, and RP will be a more accurate representation of your overall game skill. So the first notable change is that team kill points will be in effect. For anyone who doesn't understand what this means, it's very simple. If you or one of your teammates get a kill, your whole team reaps the rewards. Now the RP will most likely be different for each of you. So let's say I get a kill and my two teammates don't even shoot that person. Well, they will probably get a fraction of the RP that I get because we didn't get the exact breakdown on the numbers for this, but I imagine that's what will happen given how they worded everything. I think this is a great change because Apex is a team game at the end of the day, and there's been many times where I've seen players get large amounts of damage in a ranked match but miss out on kill points because either they never got a knock or the assist timer ran out. You could still play a huge role in a fight even if you don't get a kill. I know some people think, oh, now people will get carried, but I gotta disagree with that. Everyone is still going to have to carry their weight or else you'll just simply lose to a better team. The second biggest change is the previous kill RP cap has been removed. So going forward, the base value of each kill is worth increasingly less down to a minimum. However, there's some more details to this that I have to go over. They simplified and adjusted the per kill RP mechanics, and they're now directly presenting the base kill values by placement. In a battle royale placing worse than the bottom half the lobby is losing placements and kills are both important metrics in ranked having kills without the placement should not constitute a success in response we have pulled down kill rp gains for placing worse than 10th players placed in this region are likely to lose rp at the same time having good placements with little to no kills will cause players to miss out on a majority of their rp rewards coming from the previously mentioned kill rp changes so in conclusion, kills and assists will be worth more the later on in the game due to the higher placement you'll be reaching, but that will be contingent on how many kill points you already have. They are trying to make ranked way more competitive and they want to prevent teams from mindlessly aping one another just because they feel like they need KP. The third change they made is if you kill a lower tier player than you, it will grant you slightly less reduced RP. Now they introduced this originally back in season 12, but now they're lowering it in a couple different areas, particularly if you kill a player that is one or two ranks below you. You will now receive less RP than you previously did, and you can see from the screenshot here what that looks like. Now we're getting into some of my favorite changes. First being the assist timer. How many times have you damaged an opponent and then some time passes and they never healed, but your teammate ends up getting the knock and you never get an assist? This has to be one of the most frustrating things in ranked. Well, now the assist timer has been updated from 10 seconds to 15. They're also changing the revive assist marker so that it refreshes the assist timer if someone gets knocked. So with this change, if an enemy you knock is revived and immediately downed again by one of your allies, you're still eligible for an assist credit. And this is an amazing change that really should make a huge difference in ranked fights going forward. All right, we've got three more changes that are really going to shake up the ranked mode this season. So you gotta listen carefully. The fourth change is there is now ranked demotion, but it works different than most people thought it would. But let's say you make it to diamond four. Previously, you could never fall out of the rank you were in. So you could just play with no regard because no matter what, you couldn't go lower than that diamond four rank. Well, now you're gonna have a three game buffer until you get demoted. But let's say you hit D4, then you lose RP three games in a row. Well, now you will go down to Platinum 1, but not to the bottom of Plat 1. You will be halfway between Plat 1 and D4. Here's the kicker, and this kind of undermines the whole process in my opinion. Similar to Ranked Arenas, rewards will be granted based on the highest RP threshold achieved. I tried to get clarification on this from the dev who made these changes, but I got no response. So based on my example, it sounds like if you reach Diamond 4 but then fell back to Platinum, you're still going to reap the Diamond rewards, so you get the Dive Trail, the Badge, the Charm, all of that good stuff. At least this is what it sounds like from how they worded things. If someone watching this plays a lot of Ranked Arenas, feel free to chime in in the comments and let me know, but Ranked Arenas has to be one of the most flawed systems ever, so I never play that mode. And interestingly enough, they did no changes to the Ranked Arenas this season. The fifth change is the RP buy-in is much higher for every rank now. 
Oh, and they added a new ranked tier before bronze, which is called Rookie. This takes the place of the former bronze rank with no buy-in. And as you can see from the chart here, bronze now will have a buy-in. Rookie ranked is not a ranked you can get reset to though. I think it's strictly for brand new accounts. The RP buy-in in each rank is severely raised, and that tells me the system will reward more RP given all of these changes. Otherwise, it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense to achieve some of these ranks for the broad majority of the player base. The last huge change is they have fixed a long-standing issue where kill credits were unintentionally transferred from eliminated teams. So previously, when Team A downs players from Team B, and then Team A is subsequently eliminated, players from any team can misappropriate these down players on Team B for kill credits by executing them, regardless of their involvement in the initial conflict. And this issue has been fixed, and these kills are now properly voided. Kills are earned, not given. This change will affect third-party crashing in all game modes, ALGS, pubs when players are trying to get cheesy kills, and even ranked third parties. I can't believe this change took 13 seasons, but hey, at least it's here now and it's a healthy change in my opinion. So some of you may be thinking, okay, so is ranked going to be harder or easier? And honestly, without playing it, it's going to be hard for me to say for sure, but I have to assume confidently that it will be harder to rank up. I doubt we will see as many masters and diamond players as we saw in season 12. On top of all of that, it's more important now than ever that you are going to find consistent teammates to play with. So if you've been soloing and losing your mind, I suggest joining my Discord so that you can find the right squad for Season 13 ranked. It's going to be very team focused this season, and you're going to want to be able to count on your teammates. I don't think rolling the dice every game with randoms is going to be the best move, but you guys are going to do your thing anyway, right? Now, as far as the ranked rewards go, we have yet to learn if they're going to change anything up with them. I do hope they add more enticing benefits to ranking up. A recycled dive trail that basically puts a target on your back in pubs, coupled with a badge and a charm, aren't the best rewards for all of the hard work that goes into grinding ranked. Now I know, it's better than nothing, but I just wish they would add some more rewards, like a special weapon skin, legend skin, apex coins, or something to motivate the player base more. Ranked is a grind, there's no two ways around that, and giving out a trail for one season and then taking it away feels pretty bad. If any apex devs are watching this, please consider making the ranked rewards better for season 13. Apex Mobile's doing it, so we know you guys can too. There is one thing for sure. If you're going into season 13 hoping to grind ranked, you're going to need to up your game sense. And I've got just the thing for you here. Check out my most recent video so you guys can learn four ways to boost your game sense. Thanks for watching. Peace.